So if you have any doubt that comic books are still popular, listen to this. North American sales last year came close to one billion, that's billion with a B, dollars. Comic books and the artists who create them are a big facet of Fan Expo, which runs through Sunday in Toronto. Joining us from our downtown studios are Ramon Perez and Gibson Quarter, who are both part of Raid Studio. It's a collective of premier comic book artists. Guys, hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. Great to see you. Ramon, I want to start with you and Fan Expo and All what right. your favorite part of this would be. I mean, the, my favorite part is the interaction with the fans. I mean, we work in a very secluded environment on a day-to-day -day basis, so actually meet the fans and see who's reading our work and who's experiencing it is probably the most exciting part for me. And both of you part of Raid Studio, which is a comic book collective, both artists. Martin, uh, what drew you to this industry? Did you kind of find your calling at an early age? Uh, to be honest with you, I've always liked storytelling as an artist myself, but it, I didn't realize comics was a potential career till probably a couple of years into my college years. And it was through other artists who had been working in the industry already who had come back to school <coughs> that I realized I could take something I did for fun and actually do it for a lifestyle. Which is kind of cool. And yeah. Martin, I want to know more about you because you know what? It has been said, if you love what you're doing, then you'll never work another day in your life. What was your journey like? Oh, um, a similar situation. I've always loved comics ever since I was a kid, um, and I was drawing constantly, and eventually uh, wound up doing it professionally, and it, it's a do-what-you-love kind of situation. Yeah. Very much so. Oh, there you go. So Gibson, I'm sorry. I think I called you Martin by accident. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Okay. And you're so polite. You didn't even worse. you didn't even correct me. Well, me too. Yeah, you, you and me, you and me both. So tell me about what you're working on right now because you're both involved in some great projects, Gibson. Uh, sure. Well, I work on a couple different things. I work on Heroes of the North, which is a Canadian superhero um, comic. Uh, some of their trade paperbacks are collected up my stuff. And I also work on The Undertow, which is a, um, a supernatural western. Wow. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. Yeah, it's very. It has a chain smoking monkey and a one armed <laughs> gunfighter, so it is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And Ramon, I understand you're doing something for Marvel right now. Yeah, I'm working on two projects. I got uh, Hawkeye, which you, if you've seen the Avengers movies, is yeah. the, the bow and arrow. Oh yeah. And uh, I'm working on a series with him with Jeff Lemire, another Canadian writer. He's uh, based in Toronto as well, and with Ian Herring, who's also a colorist in our studio. And I'm also working on a modern day adaptation of Jane Eyre with screenwriter Aline Brosh McKenna, who did Devil Wears Prada uh, years ago. Yes. And so we're bringing Jane Eyre to a modern New York setting and uh, kind of uh, bringing it to uh, new audiences who might not be familiar with the original Bronte Sisters uh, novelization. That's fantastic. You know, we said off the top that this is a billion dollar industry. It's huge. And hmm. some people might yeah. be surprised by that given, you know, digital and, and all the different technology that's available. Uh, why do you think that is? Why do you think there's an enduring quality about this, Gibson? Wow, that's a tough question. Um, I think it's because it, it's it's very fluid. It's art. It's dynamic. Uh, people enjoy the the uh, the physical aspect of having the comic books, but now that it's gone digital, um, you can get it on your tablet. You can get it while you're you know in the subway with your phone. So I think that the industry is going to continue to grow, and uh, obviously we're we're glad about that. Yeah. <laughs> And I love that all of this creativity is happening in this collective in Toronto. Uh, yeah. Tell me a little bit, Ramon, about Raid Studio. I mean, you are two representatives of that studio, but what goes on? I love that everybody comes together this way. Uh, it's a great space. It was started by a few local artists back in 2004. And uh, it's, my, it's expanded out to about 15 artists and writers and creatives. And it's kind of like a, a clubhouse, I call it. We all come in. We all keep our own hours. But... It's a great creative energy. You're, you're talking with people who love what they do and are working on very interesting projects all the time, whether they be children's books or comic books or film-related properties. And uh, it just, it's just, it's like friends and you're hanging out and you're, it's just a great energy. And sometimes you might be there six hours a day, sometimes you might be there 10 hours a day, but yeah. you're having a good time because the, uh, the environment is just so friendly and, and energetic. Yeah, and we have and we have a black T-shirt dress policy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Clearly, yeah, yeah. I was going to ask yeah. about that yeah. whether that was some kind of uniform. <laughs> uh, but you know what? It's interesting to see, and it'll be interesting this weekend because there is such a huge following and people that follow you at, as artists, and you'll meet mm. them. Oh yeah, very yeah. much so. Yeah, I mean, the people all over the world are coming to the show. It's the third largest <laughs> now in North America, I believe. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I've had people come in from the. 
uh, Texas and even people coming over from Italy and Europe uh, just coming over to say hi and experience a show and, and meet people uh, writers artists actors you know and their friends who they maybe only interact with online uh, Ramon Gibson such a pleasure to meet the two of you have fun this weekend cool, thank, thank you, you very, very much, much.